Hey everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and this is episode number 142 of 15 Minutes of Game, and I'm going to be playing Shantae and the Pirate's Curse here, which is a game that I am maybe like 30-ish percent into, but I'm far enough to where I have like a bunch of the like abilities. I just got this ground pound deal, I just got this hat a little bit ago that I can kind of glide down with, and uh, you can kind of go back through and comb the levels, and I gotta be honest, I haven't been super into a lot of the Shantae games. Uh, I haven't played the original Game Boy Color one, but... Uh, the next island I need to go to is uh, this one here, Mudbog Island. But I really like how this one kind of has like a little bit of Metroidvania exploration type stuff, but uh, mostly for like going back and like finding. Yeah, I like how each level, each island is like its own level. But yeah, Mudbog is the next uh, thing I need to look for. I forget you're kind of like collecting. As I've gone on, I've kind of retrieved. Uh, Gosh, I forget what the characters' names are already. I know it's obviously Shantae, but... Oh, Risky, I think, is her name. Um, and I've been, like, finding her uh, different weapons throughout. Like, I think I got, got, like, her gun. Okay. Don't need this story here. We'll breeze through this. You get the idea. Um, but as always with these videos, never really meant to watch the whole thing unless you uh, feel like it. But I would just check out some gameplay, and if you like what you see, Let's then go. definitely check it out. Uh, it's usually not that long-winded on the... Uh, wordiness but yeah these shots I don't, like I don't know they do a really good job in this game of kind of like almost like blending like the slight bit of you know metroidvania exploration it's more like a wonder boy game is what it kind of reminds me of uh which uh randall and i've both been playing uh, a lot of uh, monster boy in the cursed kingdom lately which is like uh i think it is technically part of the the monster boy series or the wonder boy series um, but yeah, as this game goes on, you, like, get a bunch of health upgrades. It's almost like Venom-esque uh, from Spider-Man-style <laughs> enemies. Um, but yeah, each island's obviously got its own aesthetic, own, uh, tunes and whatnot. Again, I'm probably about, you know, definitely not more than halfway into the game. I think it said I was, like, 34% when I booted it up. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think that might be, you know, when it comes to every single collectible, too, so... There's probably more for me to do, but a lot of these enemies... Or I might be a little further along than that. And I know I usually like to pick these videos up kind of spoiler-free, but I would say this is, like, almost crucial to, like, know that, like, there's going to be these extra mechanics. Because when it just starts out, and the, again, with the other Shantae games I've played, like, the, the exploration feels kind of forced and, like, going between, like, different planes in the towns. I think I played one of them on... Uh, either DS or Game Boy Advance. I forget where I played it, but uh, I really love... I don't know if... The, I forget if this one was uh, a remake of a Game Boy Advance version or, like, an upped version, because it definitely looks like that kind of aesthetic. Um, I love how you can just crawl into these carcasses. Uh, yeah, here's my Risky's pistol or whatever. Shit. I'm taking tons of damage. And I love... Uh, you know, obviously, if, you, if you're familiar with Shantae, you know that you... Uh, no, I'm about to die. Hold on. Okay. Go into your inventory and eat some stuff. There we go. Kind of gross. Some flesh pops, but I'll take it. Ah. And you do, uh, like, the money and gems you collect, I mean, they, they definitely... You can spend them in the shop in the main town, but I've definitely purchased most of the, the upgrades that I'm going to... The ones that I want or that are available to me, because I think there are a few things you have to kind of get to the next tier, but this is getting freaking tough on the even just, you know, the platforming, I suppose, isn't so tough, but these enemies are no joke, which is, I guess, kind of similar to the, more similar to the retro Wonder Boy games. I know Monster Boy is super tough, too, but I feel like it's tough in a, a different way. This is always a save point. Yep. I wouldn't mind saving. But there, yeah, usually there's, like, you actually on each island, you find, like, a dungeon. Let me, uh... I thought that was going to recover my health, but I guess not. Let me have a little uh, lobster tail. Five-star feast. Oh, yeah, it recovered way more than enough health. Plus 13. Not using my abilities enough. Oh, I didn't know you could pogo. It's like Scrooge McDuck style. That's the most obvious reference I can make. Damn it. I am just taking damage like a fucking asshole. Holy shit, okay. Give me another lobster dinner. Come on! He's getting hit by everything. Oh, there's a health upgrade up there. 
There's like these heart squids that you can collect. I think I only need one more. I don't know how to get up there though. I don't have any kind of like double jump or anything. This is like pissing me off, man. I'm taking a ton of damage. I'm gonna pull up a map, but I guess yeah. There's no real map when you're in the island. I forgot, but okay, here we go. Not until you get into like the more like Metroidvania dungeon or whatever, which is really cool. I like. I really like how they have it split up like that. These are also like collectible. You like kill these demons. I forget what they're called, but then you collect them with your magic lamp. Absorb their dark magic. Oh, and you also have like a a backwards dodge, like a slide. You can only slide backwards though, which is pretty similar to like some Castlevania games. But there's been some really cool like story beats, some really cool sections of this game um, that I think I uh, recorded just the gameplay of, but like some really cool like uh, set pieces. I think I might have just said that, but yeah, just like the way they're put together, like really distinct sections that are one that almost felt like a race, kind of. Um, oh no. I love how I can do that jump save. I think that was something I purchased. And I love how when you hit the to hover, oh shit. And the jump save like after I take damage is what I'm talking about, yes. Give me that heart. But like when you activate the uh, like hovering hat, you kind of get pulled up for just a quick second. Oh, this looks important. What do you got? A hexer. So this might the lost souls might be like the the dungeon here. Usually they're a little tougher to find though, but I don't know. They like they usually involve me like eating some kind of puzzle. I miss something. suck it in with the uh, dark magic or anything. What am I missing? Like, I didn't notice anything in the level or on the island so far. Oh, nice. Good thing for auto potions. Let me make sure how many of those I have. Not anymore. So good to know. What did I miss? Can't do anything to these statues, or whatever they are, in the background. Maybe I should have been listening to Risky at the beginning. Maybe it's all my fault. Just head back a little bit, see if I missed something. found this over here. The only other thing I saw was this squid, but number one, I don't think I can get to it with my current abilities. Oh my gosh. Don't waste those lobster tails. Go with the bento box. It's a little less health recovery, but I don't need 13 recovery points at this point. Oh, maybe I gotta do that. Dang it. Okay, maybe I do have to do that, but, like, right on the edge. Get out of here. Unreal. I don't need this squid thing to, uh... Dang it. Like, I don't need it to progress, but I do obviously need the extra health because I play like a freaking chump. Come on. Dang it. Like, I gotta get one of those, like, jumping enemies when they're over here. Come on up. Dang it.
ridiculous how hard it is to dodge these, at least for me. <laughs> Here we go. Damn it. One more try. Let's just kill that enemy. Yeah. See what else I missed. Dang. That enemy has, like, most of these enemies have, like, a means of getting you one way or the other. Maybe, I mean, there is that other island, but I could have sworn when I went there the first time, it just kind of made it seem like, uh, before I started recording the video, it just kind of made it seem like, yeah, I don't, you don't need to come here yet. Like, there wasn't, like, a cutscene at the beginning like this island had. Um, which made me think... Oh, yeah, I can't eat when I'm in midair. Makes sense. Fair enough. Like, I did just speed through this section, but I really don't think I missed anything. Just gonna keep saying that. See, yeah, there's nothing down here. This is just gonna kill me if I could even jump through it, which I can't. Nothing here. Trying to go like down or something, see if there's some kind of tube. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, where do we go from here? Ooh, it kind of looks like there's something up top there. Those like gray stones right above me. No. Meat chunklet. Uh, for some reason, that kind of looked like it was maybe going to be a secret tunnel. Down here? Nope. Some of these enemies need to get down a little bit, but their patterns, but at least for me, I'm having a tough time. But I love how, like, the pits that show you that you're going to die in them, like, have those skulls coming out of them. I think this is back to the beginning of the island, so... Let me see if Risky has anything to say. I guess let's leave. Let me go back to the other island and see if there's, like, a cutscene. I guess it would make sense that it would be the next one. Maybe I had already watched this cutscene? Um, so yeah, let's check out this island. Check out another island for this video, and then I'll probably call it there. But, yeah, each level has its own vibe for each island i should say i'm kind of bummed i haven't found uh, one of the dungeons yet though because they're really cool like they're not just running left to right like a lot of i mean it's still side scrolling but just got a really great uh i don't know the level design and the puzzle design is just really good but i love all the different enemies too each island just has, like, its own set. Oh, yeah. I thought it said I got a Pokeball for a second. I was like, what the heck? What am I playing? I was talking about Pokemon earlier. I think that was in the last video, actually. Come on! Oh, I haven't saved in a while. Unless it saves when you go to the boat. No! Ah! Yet another one, just like Tohu. The Tauhu doesn't save your progress. Fucking, oh my gosh. Yeah, I kind of feel like maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet, because I this is brutal. Got kind of lucky on that mad dash. Dang it. Just going to go for it. At least it won't have deleted my, uh, or won't have used my food that I've eaten. Down to, as I'm down to one heart here. Let me have a bento box. Get me up full health. And let's check it out. Let's try this again. I could go back to the main island and like hub world, which is like, there's like, that's where you can get like stuff from the shop and like permanent upgrades. Again, like I said, I have most of those already, I think. 
play this a little more cautiously here. No need to speed run. Right over your heads. Yeah, I love these in particular, like the human enemies, whatever, but like, I love these, like, I don't know what these are, these bird, fairy looking creatures, and obviously, yeah, this scorpion uh, beast that took me out last time. Let's see what's down here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't have any means of sprinting, so... At least yet. But maybe, again, I've unlocked quite a few different abilities throughout the course of this game. I'm just gonna go around ya. to come for me. Ah, I'm pretty sure I did this already, unless there's just something else I need to unlock at the end. Please save. Alright, alright. Yeah, because I had to, like, figure out this puzzle to be able to get in here. And this was, like, the... Never mind, I was gonna say this was the main dungeon, but I don't think so. Let's see. Now this was this was definitely like a huge puzzle that I had to solve, actually. Um I don't know if it was the dungeon part of the level or like the kind of Metroidvania part of the level, but those actually usually have health or something in them, but whatever, those little uh or whatever that were up on those shelves. Oh yeah, I've definitely already done this. It's the end of the line over here, I think. Oh no. Oh, wait. This actually doesn't seem super familiar to me. I don't know if I've ever tried coming down here. Well, <laughs> dead end. At least that way. I love that feeling, though, of, like, just being able to zip around with that hat. But yeah, you can see there's no skulls on that uh, platform there. Heck. Or in that hole, I should say, not on the platform. Can't tell if I'm dam- yeah, I'm definitely not damaging this thing. Oh! Okay, it's not instant death, I just have to keep jumping. For a second, I, I'm not sure if I kill that uh, archer. Because they just kind of like burrow into the Cement? <laughs> the cement pillars? Yeah, I don't- I can't remember if I've been over here. This doesn't seem super familiar, to be honest. What do we have? What do we have? Dang it. Oh, I thought I died for a sec. I should eat a little something. A little chunklet. Ah. Yeah, I just love the pixel art in this game. It's just so... Again, I, I can't remember if this was a... Uh, oh. What do we got down here? Oh, I've definitely not been here. Or at least not with this ability. Heck yeah. And I think we're in dungeon territory here. some goods. Give me a hard squid, and I love you. You just, like, when you take them to the person in town that upgrades your health with it, they just, like, squish them into, like, a, a heart piece. It's so cool. Like, I love the animation. It's just so goofy. Like, the sense of humor in this game is pretty good. Um, I've enjoyed it. 
there's like bosses that are afraid like from previous games again i wasn't familiar but they do a nice job of like oh making you aware like you know any self-referential stuff they just do a nice job of like making it cheeky enough to where you can it's just obvious yeah i've definitely not been down here so no oh, i thought I'm so used to spikes being instant kill in some games save just yet. I want to see if there's health in here. Yep. I will take that. Save again just to be safe. Because you are not going to respawn with full health. Oh, I've been over here. Okay. Something tells me I didn't do this, though. I might not have had the pogo at the time. Ah, just a way back. Hmm. A lot of this didn't, does just does not look familiar to me. Like even just these spike platforms. There we go. Well, I've clearly done it because there's a chest up there that's already been open. with the gun too that will definitely could have bought me some time there but yeah I really like the platforming sections even though I clearly have done this let's go I have no idea what the hell I'm doing though <laughs> that's where I came from let's see yeah that's where I came from as well I don't know how I didn't get those, uh, that hard squid and that, uh, maybe, maybe after I beat the boss, maybe it just took me back to the entrance of the cavern. Because, like, this kind of seemed familiar to me, too. Going up that geyser, but yeah, there's no way I would have missed that. Or that gust, there's no way I would have missed that heart piece. Oh, man. This seems familiar as well. This is my problem in every Metroidvania that I play. I just get lost. And this one's not even Metroidvania. -y. Or at least not that Metroidvania. -y. Shit. I have another chunklet. Oh, there's a heart squid. Hmm. I was thinking I could maybe stab down on that thing and get a little bounce. Guess not. Yeah, definitely not. Hmm. Yeah, there's got to be... Maybe I do get a double jump at some point in time. I was thinking I had most of the abilities by now, but maybe not. Fine. Okay, they give you quite a bit of coyote time there. I guess it wouldn't be coyote time if you're not jumping off an edge, but close enough. A little breathing room on those spikes coming up, which is nice. And again, I'm forgetting that they were instant kill. Didn't mean to jump back down. But yeah, that's the end of the road there. 
So I'm going to start heading back towards the ship, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to re-figure out where the hell I'm going in this game. Uh, and I hopefully... Ah, shit. Okay, it's not a game over. But hopefully that'll show off enough gameplay for you to be able to tell whether you are into this game or not. I'm a little bit... You know, I don't. I just don't want to show off and you just running around in circles, as I've already kind of done for most of this video. Um, I'm pretty sure that first island was where I was supposed to go, so it might be my fault for breezing through uh, Risky's dialogue. Um, so I can only blame myself. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I'll have links in the video description. And like I said, if you were maybe not totally sold on uh, Shantae uh, with the previous releases, um, again, I can't speak to the first, first game in the series, but uh, some of the other ones have just been a little too open-ended for my liking. Um, and if you felt the same, I really like the level-based nature of this. Again, even though I'm a little bit lost and stuck here for a second, but uh, up to this point, I've been having a nice breeze through, and I am picking this up kind of fresh after not having played in a while um so um or at least a you know a couple weeks so definitely recommend checking this one out i'm rambling on at this point thanks for watching as always and take care